Alright, uh, so uh, this is a new uh, bootcamp and in this bootcamp we will uh, make a new three product and this uh, bootcamp we will focus on making the packaging design and in this bootcamp we will making the three products I have said the first product is an box design we will making an box design from scratch and we will start uh, by exporting uh, the uh, box uh, uh, to uh, after unwrapping it, to, we will export it to Adobe Shop, and then we will uh, apply the labels, and then we can import it to the Blender. And uh, to be honest, this is the first uh, the first complete full bootcamp I have uh, to accomplish. And uh, for a long time, I haven't made a complete course. And uh, the, the previous course which I have made was for the point two seven nine. And in this bootcamp. I will focus on 2.8 because it this is the latest re, uh, release and uh, this time we have the version 2.81 you can feel free to uh, use any version which you can uh, see that this version uh, but I see that the difference between 0.28 and 0.281 is uh, minor changes so uh, now let's get started by making uh, the first uh, item inside our uh, box design. Alright, so this is something that we will make inside this tutorial. And this is the first part we will make. I Basically, this is a challenge and I recording all these tutorials in real time. All this recording is in li live mode and I uh, will uh, ha I haven't made any uh, of these works uh, before. So you we will uh, start to uh, think together how we can accomplish these uh, two tasks. The first task we will, we, uh, will accomplish is this, uh, maybe uh, this, uh, it calls uh, sometimes. So uh, this is called the neutral uh, bar and uh, we will make uh, this green one and all these are the same except uh, some labels and uh, some colors. So let's get started by making the first one and I am using this version and let's get started by applying some units and the, the unit which you, I will use is the metric system and using lens to be centimeters and then I have uh, I am in the front view and I will get started by using an a plane. This plane I will rotate in the x-axis and let's uh, go back to see our dimensions and the dimensions uh, here is an item and the dimensions will be in the x-axis I will start from 2.5 centimeters and in the y-axis I will start from maybe 10, uh, 8 centimeter and let's zoom I think that uh, 9 will be fine let's, let's keep it 8 alright uh, so after that uh, let's go back and I will extrude in the y-axis uh, to a distance which may be 0 0.005 and let's go in the y 0 0.005 and I think uh, g and y 0 0.5 so uh, because you, we are using centimeters so in uh, this axis is around 0 0.5 centimeter uh, but if you're using meters you will uh, type a different value so uh, here uh, as you can see there is some clipping and uh, you can avoid this clipping by going to the view and uh, make the clip start to point or uh, maybe a small value to see uh, this item better because you, we are using some small measurements and uh, the first uh, thing to make also uh, so I will uh, hide this part because uh, as you can see here in the image we have uh, in the image here we have uh, this symmetrical in the z-axis so I will focus only on the y-axis uh, or in the top part and after that uh, I will uh, go back and extrude this item so uh, let's uh, make this edge here and I will select this part using the proportional editing I will scale in the y and uh, the circle is large so I will uh, go to this distance and uh, make it point 0.1 and the scale in Y Alright, uh, 
and after that I will select this face and extrude in the Z 0.5 cm uh, not 0.5 so uh, I will uh, G in Z 0.5 it should be 0.5 but we will disable the proportional editing and I will G in Z move to Z 0.5 and I think uh, this thickness is larger than we want so I will scale also in Y to this distance 0.4 maybe that's fine and uh, after that uh, let's display the picture uh, we want to make uh, this details and you want also to make the details in the above so how we can accomplish this uh, it's very simple I will make uh, two loop cuts here and another loop cut here then I will uh, maybe scale the sometime and I will uh, make some bevel uh, then we can extrude alt s I will scale apply the scale so let's uh, select the faces in the top and uh, add some extrusion I think the extrusion uh, here so uh, what I uh, want to make sure that I want to make sure that the extrusion in all axes is the same right I will make some bevel here also and after that let's go back uh, to make a bevel here and bevel here so control B and Extrude Alt S Alright uh, So uh, let's now uh, go back and make the top detail So I will make 45 Why uh, we are using 45? Because basically I have measured something so uh, we have missed something we uh, before that I will select the top area and make the proportion editing to be sharp or linear so I will stick to linear and scale in x axis to this one and after that I will go to the frame and selecting only these edges one by one uh, so you may ask why I have made the edges to be 45 so uh, this is a good question the question is that we have uh, if you make the even uh, maybe 40 or 44 you uh, will not uh, get uh, the same uh, look or the same style uh, that we want to accomplish so you must make sure that you have uh, an odd number to add for the control R, uh, control R or the number of styles uh, then I will go to the d-axis and make sure you have disabled the proportional editing and this look is what we want uh, you may notice that uh, we are closed but I will delete the, <coughs> the bottom part and after that after delete of the bottom part I will add the mirror modifier and after that I will go to scale in the y axis Uh, so make sure that you have select the smooth and after that scale on Y to this uh, What 
I want to make is to make this to be curved something. And uh, let's try to using the subdivision surface of level of two to see what we will get. And I think uh, we are close, uh, but so uh, we are close, but I want to make the other part to uh, become more natural and I will scale on the y-axis to be like this maybe 1.2 and right this is fine and after that Let's see what we have, and I think if you want to go to the next step, you can select, you have the choice. have the choice to select all these faces in the top and uh, bevel uh, them let's go here and bevel uh, them uh, to uh, make but you uh, must be sure that you select all faces so uh, I will now go to UV and wrap this object so it's very very simple and it's similar to the boots and I will uh, firstly make a collection I will duplicate this in the x-axis and move it to another collection this collection will be named maybe temp or temporary and uh, I will hide this temporary collection after that I will apply the mirror modifier and then I will uh, add the some edges here and make sure you have you uh, selected the two edges so uh, this object is very very simple to a box and it may be not bot box but is the same idea of UV unwrapping any box and I think we have something here to select right let's select all these I will control and mark the seam and for the upper part I want to this also to be marked as a seam and the inner part to be also marked as a seam and after that uh, this is the front view after that I will so selecting some top edge which is here and mark and seam if you want to change the orbit mode you can change it from the setting because uh, we are using some micro object and it will be better uh, to change the view or uh, I mean the orbit uh, the orbit mode so I will make all these to be a um, seam and let's try to UV unwrap this one let's go back to the UV editor and we have already unwrapped this so uh, I will make an a 3d view board here and uh, let's enable the live mode We are here and I think we have to enable the live mode so this area alright uh, so this is the front view uh, then I will select this one and scale to be 0.4 and move to be here 
select this one and scale or uh, you want to move scale point 0.9 and move to the x axis like this right then I will select all these and rotate 90 degrees then I will move three times uh, scale three times and if you want uh, to have fast method you can go here select all and go in the front and you and object from view but I found that this manual uh, manual method better for me and you can choose the best choice for you uh, I had tried b uh, before I selected only this part which is from here this, these faces and th that method works fine for me I, will s I have selected all these faces and uh, make a mark theme for the edges and then you uh, unwrap but uh, you can choose the, uh, the method which is suitable for you alright uh, what I want to make now is to scale it to be in the center and after that I will uh, let's go back and scale it also we will not use it this is the front view that uh, we will handle uh, let's select this one and this is the top and I think it's not aligned properly uh, then Basically, uh, we have done for the UV unwrapping, and uh, we will go to the next step. So, uh, the next step is uh, to select all. I want to select all parts, and uh, all these parts will be uh, UV unwrapped. And after that, So let's wait some time until uh, the UV unwrapping is complete. So uh, now we will UV unwrapping the uh, image. I will choose 4K. So this will be 0.4, and this will be 0.4, and all UVs. And after that, uh, I will choose this will be the UVs. We can call it export. Then I will export UV layout. 